Hey everyone, here with Wizard, and this is the Frantic Coding build. Um, a bit of a so-so hand. I don't love the slums in this matchup. I like the contract, but not more than any other recon card specifically, given that he probably has a couple ice to start with. This is actually better. He's going to leave R&D. Well, I'll, I'll take a peek. Just an Eli. Eli Biotic. Okay, so I'll get the Adonis up. So this might have been behind a Fairchild 3, and he figured that we would give him an ID trigger. Which we may still do this turn. I think I'm going to give him this one. Oh, Eli. Yep. We have to kill Adonis, so we can't let him have money. So he brings the Ravana up. Letting us get too fresh in R&D, unless he can res that also. He must be able to res it. Let's just see what it is, and then we can decide on our Parasites. Oh, he can't. Maybe this is Fairchild. Three. again. If you click too fast, it still sometimes lags out. So this is what we saw before. Fresh card one, fresh card two, arc and hedge fund. That's pretty good for him. Let's try to find a parasite next. We we'll have to worry about him arc locking down various things. He protects HQ. Hmm. Paperclip goes in the bin, which will be fodder for the arc lockdown, but we have another one, so I'm not concerned. And that will get rid of the arc lockdown too. He doesn't even arc, arc lock down it. Hmm. And it's probably a fair child three, so I want to have all three clicks left so I can see fresh cards. Hopefully trash of money. Install paperclip here. Now that there's two Eli's, I kind of don't hate it. But paying three bucks to break. Saving two clicks is probably worth. At least now we have it out of danger's way and we can break the other Eli. ELP next, and now there's the Adonis. Brats. We parasite this turn. I think he's going to purge this anyway on his turn. <laughs> nope, have your point. So he's paid four dollars for an agenda point. Is that a good deal? I don't really think so in my mind, but I could see the argument either way. Like that's expensive to me. And we're gonna get to pillage R&D some more, get rid of the Adonis campaign.
Yeah, you can't really afford to not defend a R and D. So like this is three for twelve influence, and it's four dollars. I think the four dollars is actually the sticking point. The influence you can maybe get away with, given that HP is most what needs in faction. But I don't think that you can spend four an idea that's fairly poor in real credits. I mean, it gets discounts on the ice, which is great, but in terms of actually advancing your cards to win the game, you still need real money for that. And if we're staying on top of the Adonis campaigns at all costs, which is what you have to do, he's going to be clean for credits. So we went in for five cards, we trashed three, and he drew one of them, and then he drew another one. So they're actually fresh on R&D. Do we draw into something? Contract. Yeah, that's pretty good. Because the Parasite's actually being an economy card right here. We're able to spend only two instead of three dollars. Trash you campaign? I think I actually will. So I pay two dollars here. Ichi one's good for him, but we can click it. So like normally we would be gear checked a little bit because there's so many buyer ways we can just click whatever whatever problem is. So double ice gets his ability if we run one of them. And are we gonna respect that? He's on nine. I think I'm going to hmm. What are we going to do here? Are we going to just take money? Oh, the ice carver. Potentially pretty compelling. Let's not show our hand. We'll just take money this turn. And we can frantic. And then based on what we hit, we can play the carver. It's going to help us. Oh, the triple ice. So maybe we actually want to just go into the kind of parasiting HQ and wait for him to flood. Okay, we'll play Frantic. What do we hit? The fam which we want in the bin. The Parasite is not bad. We have a Yogg in our hand. Supposing we put Yogg down, we can go to HQ I think I like the Parasite. Yeah, this is good. We can do like Gamble, Carver, Yogg, and go in here next turn, I think. Or no, just blast the Ichi. We wouldn't have enough money to really get there. So this contract is a bit stuck. We can fem something. We don't know which one we, we care about femming. Blah. Not actually playing strike in this deck. A lot of them are. That's really helpful. So we'll give him a breather of a turn. I think the more turns go on, the more he just floods his hand. So 
So that might be an Adonis. Could be a 3 2. If we just slam into it and this is fair, child will be sad. I think we take a turn off. Let him do his thing. Try to find our goodies. We're tight in this game, but we had to actually break her out pretty quickly. Do we get our Grimoire? No, we get double Data Sucker and Inject. It's kind of unfortunate. Okay, just an Adonis. Want to kill that until the Grimoire shows up. We can't really. Could have played Yogg and Trash Paperclip. But that's kind of silly. We'd end up having to reinstall it. At a later date. Okay. Also, a second grimoire, but. Some games you just really don't want it. I think we want all these cards, huh? Yeah. Hey, letting up this Adonis campaign. This is how he gets actual credits. But I think we want to be wary of like planning into this. This is an okay purge turn for him, actually. It would save his Ichi and get rid of the medium, which he wants to do anyway. Hmm. Okay. He almost has to clear the agendas as he scores them. Oh, I think you got a fire there, right? When you're already down. So I can retrieval to save a couple bucks, or save this for a parasite. Yeah, I'll play it like this. I don't think I need a parasite. Although, it wouldn't be bad to get parasite here, run again, and then blow up the Ravana completely. No, I don't think that's relevant. Well, it would stop him from getting his ability, which is kind of nice. So let's go that way. No CVS, please. Flip this for a sucker. Probably not. Eve campaign. I think he's still somewhat in this since this Adonis ran down. He's gonna arc my fem. Does he have also the arc for the Mark Ultra? Guess not. Uh, show me Grimoire here. We got a vamp now. We can clean the rest of the Adonis out. Now, we either run R&D and float, seeing three fresh, having a decent chance to win, 
We can only get S against the Eli. Let him res one of these. I'm going to take three accesses here and a sucker token. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Protect that. There's the sales team. There's a good chance to win there. And if we didn't, he would have taken three. <laughs> yeah, why not, huh? So the Ark Lockdown, you can see, like, was kind of good, but it, you need more than one of them to really crush someone. So had he gotten rid of this and the Ultra, he would have had his Architect uh, guaranteed to fire, which is kind of nice. The Ichi, on the other hand, we could still click through, so I think you need to go, like, hard into Ark Lockdown if your plan is to get rid of the Breakers. All right, thanks for watching.